<laughs> Though it may look like, you know, kind of sloppy, the colors, this really came together quite nicely. We like it. Mm. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. I'm super excited because I haven't filmed in a hot minute and this is my first official time filming in our new house so I'm super stoked. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a one pot 15 minute meal. Main attraction is this little gem right here. I picked this up yesterday at the Sugar Beet. It's a vegan tikka masala. Ingredient list is super clean so you can make this on your own, but for the 15 minutes, say I'm just using a little prepared version. Tomato paste, coconut cream, ginger, spices, garlic, cane sugar, sea salt, lemon juice, cilantro, chickpea flour, tapioca starch, serrano pepper, fenugreek leaves. It is a super clean ingredient list. I have two just in case because I am using a lot of vegetables. I have all of these lovely veg behind me, some broccoli, some asparagus, peppers, and then we'll put it over a cauliflower rice. So if you want to make some vegan tikka masala with me, then just keep watching. I'm not gonna lie, doing this in 15 minutes, setting the timer right now, it has me just a little bit nervous. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get the pan hot first. We'll do a drizzle of some olive oil. By the way, I love this bottle, look at this. I got this from whole, no, TJ Maxx and more, Home Goods or something. Okay, so now I have to cut all the veg. professional tip that I learned the hard way. When you're cooking with asparagus, you just can snap the woody part off and that's what you're not supposed to eat. I learned that um, by not doing that and then not being able to eat the asparagus or chew it. You're welcome. tell you <laughs> right away. Right now we're at seven minutes in, eight minutes to go. This pan that I thought was going to be plenty big, I have zero spatial awareness sometimes with food and containers for me is like a real struggle. So this is a bit tight, but you know what? It's nothing that we can't bring together. These colors, do they not just bring you joy? The brand that I'm using, what is this? Maya... Kemal, Kaimal, Maya Kemal. <laughs> Vegan Tikka Masala. Pro tip. Oh, did you hear that pop? Pro tip. You just give it a tap on the counter and put that over. And quite frankly, I'm probably going to use both jars. TBD. You'd want more sauce than less sauce. I also wanted to add some spinach, but oh, does this smell good? Holy, you know what, actually? I think one jar is gonna be plenty. And then just a little zhuzh of water. That way we can get some steam happening there to cook the vegetables through. Here's another pro tip, hit it on an angle and you look like you went to culinary school. Garnish is done. Check back over here. Right now we are at three minutes to go. Oh, that smells good. Honestly, I think a whole second jar is yep, gonna be too much but I am gonna go in with half. Top back on one more time to just let it simmer through a little bit longer, and then we'll plate it and it's good to go. Here we go, cutting it close. For presentation purposes, we did the riced cauliflower on one side, half on the other of the vegetables, the tofu, and literally I have 
one somehow <laughs> wow that actually looks like really good uh, minus this <laughs> realistically it wouldn't just be my plating one bowl i would have a second bowl for kevin in a perfect world i would have had cilantro to put on top but the only fresh herb that i had in the house was dill so i opted for the green onion but if you have cilantro that would be the way that you wanna go, but green onion will do us just fine. Healthy, delicious, filling, and boom. 15 minutes, top to bottom. Plated and ready to eat. So that was short and sweet. 15 minutes, top to bottom, from literally beginning to cook, cut everything up, throw it in the pot, and to plate. It's done, and it smells super good. You totally could make the tikka masala from scratch and make it on your own. However, unless you're some kind of like wizard and you could do that in 15 minutes top to bottom then get in there but for a quick easy healthy nutritious how many other adjectives out of the can was a-okay for me today. The reason that I wanted to make today's video was to ultimately share with you that you can totally cook and eat healthy even if you are on a super short time window. I know myself that I'm super busy and we're in this culture right now where we're glorifying busy and then things begin to sacrifice like our health and our happiness, our mental health, our well-being, and all of those things that we should be prioritizing. And I'm such a strong believer that fueling your body with healthy, nutritious, micronutrient dense food is so, so important to your well-being in terms of how you're feeling and carrying yourself throughout the day and being able to do all of this stuff <laughs> that we are so busy doing. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos once a week. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a wonderful day day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you all soon. Bye.